So you will not require our assistance. Is that correct? Very well. In that case, there is nothing more to be said. As for your presence here, this room is ordinarily only accessible to those bound by a contract. You are fated to refine your power. You will most definitely require our assistance, eventually. Until we meet again, farewell. Most intriguing. Are you certain about this? Our domain is indivisible from the destiny of our guests. Nothing meaningless happens in this room. Which can only mean that the fate of our visitor just now will be... Margaret? Pardon. I spoke out of turn. We are only allowed to watch over and assist those guests who are bound by the terms of the contract. Indeed. <laughs> So, the young man Yu Narukami is tied to our recent guest's fate. I wonder what fate, or rather, encounter will await him. Yu Narukami. Now that's a guest who never ceases to amaze. <laughs>
So who exactly was it that put Labrys inside the TV? And why? At first, I thought the culprit was jealous of my popularity and tried to break us friends up. Mm-hmm. But that wasn't it. Their goal was to disrupt our hearts by making us fight each other and then steal our personas after they return to being shadows. Now Toe said as much too. I don't know. Turning them back to shadows and stealing them. That doesn't sound like something just anyone could pull off. Maybe not, but we know for certain that the culprit was using that method to try and gather powerful shadows. Gathering shadows, huh? That's definitely not something any normal person would do. Reminds me, how are things inside the TV? Still the same. It should go back to normal eventually, but the P1 Grand Prix had such an effect that it's still noisy there. Oh, but... um... Huh? But what? Quit mumbling and just spit it out. It's hard to say for sure. But I sense these weird presences. They feel kind of like shadows, but not really. Weird presences? You mean, there's something strange in there? Um, I don't really know. What could it be? The culprit, maybe? Maybe, but maybe not. Huh? How would that make sense? The culprit wasn't a Persona user, right? Mm. He did say that he used Labrys because he couldn't enter the TV world himself. So, wouldn't that mean this weird thing Ted's talking about can't be our bad guy? Or... Maybe the culprit can shove people into a TV, even though he's not a Persona user. There's one more thing that bothers me. What is it? It's something Naoto said. So much we don't know. But no matter what the culprit was trying to do, if he was after us in the TV world, I doubt this case will wrap itself up. Mm-hmm. I agree. Oh, then does that mean... <laughs> too bad for Mitsuru-san, but we're gonna ignore her request not to get involved. Ah! So the investigation team's back in business. Yep. I feel a little bad doing this to Mitsuru-san, but we can't just leave this be. We can fight too. And heck, this is our town, so it's practically our duty to do this. I'm in too. After all, I am Labby-chan's knight. Plus, I can't sit on the sidelines after seeing what this culprit did to my world. It had gotten so peaceful thanks to you guys. So it's decided. Mm-hmm. We have to return the favor of getting stuck with those strange epithets, too. Think about that makes me so mad! What was that carnivore whose discarded womanhood stuff all about? 
I could swear people cross the street now when they see me. Really? I was actually pretty impressed. Huh? Is that how you think of me, Yuka? No, that's not what I meant. That reminds me. You seem to like that Sister Complex Kingpin of Steel nickname. Did he? Sensei, have you awakened to a new name? Should I call you Kingpin from now on? This sure has turned out to be some golden week. And after you took the time to come see us, too. No kidding. Shit got stirred up the day you came back. Like someone planned it that way. That actually does still bother me a bit. What do you mean? Oh, uh, I guess the timing? It's like... Whoever did this was waiting for you to come back. Well, I guess there's no need to think about that now. Oh yeah, where's Marie-chan? She's elusive as always. It looked like she was buying something at Sozai Daigaku the other day. What? Nobody told Emi-chan that Sensei was visiting? Well, it is Marie-chan we're talking about. I'm sure she's noticed that Yukun's back. Huh? Then, uh, why hasn't she shown up? I mean, if she knew that Senpai's back, you'd think she'd be the first to show. Look at those insane rain clouds. It's gonna start pouring soon for sure. Jeez, the weather report has been way off the mark lately. Oh, sorry, that's mine. Hello? Oh, Kasai-san. That reminds me, Labrys is a robot, right? Would she rust if she got caught out in the rain? Nah, I doubt it. The Kirijo group developed her after all, and they wouldn't be that cheap. Michan's group sure is amazing. Her stuff is way better than Juness brand electronics. Shut up! And don't go dissing your own employer! Labris is with Mitsuru-san and her friends, right? I wonder how she's doing. Don't worry, I'm sure she's doing fine. If all goes well, we'll see her again in no time. Yeah, you're right. Man, I should stop being such a worry wart. <laughs> hey, looks like Yukiko Senpai's off the phone. Oh, welcome back, Yukiko. What was the call about? It was the end. It seems a group of our guests is still out. We didn't have any umbrellas ready for them, so I think a lot of them will come back drenched. Sorry, I have to go back for a bit. Oh, right. I forgot this is a busy time for the Amagi Inn, too. Actually, shouldn't we be heading home ourselves? Ugh, if this keeps up, I bet it'll keep raining into the night. Raining, huh? That thing's not gonna come on again, is it? In any case, let's meet up again tomorrow to check up on the TV world. Okay, I'll see you all here tomorrow. And I'll make sure to let Risei-chan know, too. I'll call up Naoto-kun. Though I don't know yet if she'll be able to make it. Cool deal. Well, see you guys tomorrow. What do you think, Yosuke, about the timing of all of this? Hmm? Oh, that. I don't know, I might be overthinking this, but if the culprit happens to know you, would that give some hint of who it might be?
Is it possible that it could be Adachi? Adachi-san? No, it wouldn't be him. He has a persona. Oh, yeah. Good point. Sorry. I wasn't trying to weird you out. visiting day, so I made sure to raise my hand to answer all the teacher's questions. On the go. You told that story three times already. No, I didn't! Oh, and guess what? I saw a really long car yesterday! Oh, you mean the limo that was driving around town? Yeah, I heard about that. A big stretch limo in a sleepy little town like ours. I'll tell you one thing. They won't be from around here. So, what are you up to this time? The day you were due back, a detective from the Metropolitan Police Department suddenly rang me up to ask about the details of that case. Not only that, but I saw that Shiragane kid at the station several times these past couple of days. Was this all just a coincidence? That's... Uh... Can't answer, huh? Well, that's fine. <sighs> Look. I trust you, but this is different. Don't stick your head into the lion's den. You do understand that I'm a detective and pretty much your guardian while you're here, right? So long as you understand that, then do whatever you want. Not at all. We were just talking. Really, Big Bro? <laughs> yeah, there's nothing to worry about. Um, I'll always be on your side, okay? Make up your mind, you. The strong win, while the weak disappear. Tonight, we will witness the hottest battles in all history. The goddess of victory is waiting to descend upon the ring. P1 fans, are you ready? Are you ready? Time to let loose an all-out war! The contestants in the previous P1 Grand Prix have returned for another tournament right on the heels of the last one. These warriors will create another legend here at the world-shattering P1 Ring! These are battles of honor, battles of will, sparks will fly, some fight for pride, some fight for glory. 
Will this be decided by pure muscle, or will a battle of wits determine the outcome? Things are heating up! Tonight, who will win the title of champion? Who will be crowned with the winner's wreath? Whose tale of glory will resound for generations? All that remains are the dreams of the warriors. As the Grand Prix plunges into its final chapter, the P1 Climax is... Barely getting started! going on here? What in the world? The town! A red fog? What the... <laughs> Yoo-hoo! All you P1 crazies out there! Sorry about the long wait! Climax! It's the end of the world! One-on-one -on -one deathmatch that's worthy of the name Climax! And best of all, if you don't win the one-on-one -on -one tournament to the finish within the hour, the world will end! No punches pulled this time! I'll, I'll make, make myself, myself clear so that no one misunderstands. This will not be taking place within the TV world. It will, in fact, take place in the reality which you occupy. Enjoy it while you can. Alrighty then! Time to show off how that special stage is going! Is that Mitsuru-san? <laughs> what will be the fate of our captured queen and her loyal minions? Then again, if we don't have a champion, everyone's a goner anyway. So she'll be in good company. Best of luck to all of you. Is that? Nanako! Dojima-san! Juness Food Court.
I see. In other words, nothing suspicious is apparent in the current Kirijo group. Correct. There are no factors that would necessitate deterring Mitsuru Kirijo or the shadow operatives which she leads. Mitsuru Kirijo seemed to have some idea who stole her cargo, yes? She did indeed. To begin with, the culprit knew the contents of the cargo which even Miss Kirijo herself did not fully understand. It follows that the culprit in this case was someone with intimate knowledge of the Kirijo group's dark secrets. How Mitsuru Kirijo deals with this culprit will surely shed more light upon her true motives. Report to us again when you find out more. Whether I find out more or not, it's certain that something will happen. The Kirijo Ergonomics Research Laboratory an organization specializing in research upon shadows. Hmm. Blood of shadows and the manifestation of personas. There are many similarities to what we experienced. The chief difference is that their catastrophe was artificially induced in the name of research. I hesitate to look into such matters without their consent, but I doubt they would volunteer much. Shuji Akutsuki took the position of chairman at Gekko Kanhai after Ergo Research was disbanded. Mitsurasan went there. Deceased in 2009. Cause of death. Falling from the school's observatory. Was it suicide? No listed family. It may be best if I check inside of the TV world once more. It's a bit late to call them. Which reminds me, I think I heard thunder earlier. Could it have rained? A call at this hour? From an unknown number. Hello. I got through. Miss Detective? Uh, wait, no. Now Tokun, right? That voice. Is that you, Labrus? What's the matter? Listen up, because we got a big problem. Mitsura-san and the others were on their way to Inaba, but they've gone missing. Missing? So we were going to go look for them, but these weird guys came barging into the Shadow Operatives Lab. I'm the only one who got out. Labrus, calm down. Can you describe anything unique about the people who invaded your headquarters? Unique? Um, they came in a big group, they wore suits, they showed this paper-looking thing, and they said something about an investigation.
I understand. What's your present situation? I can't go back to the lab, right? Even if I could, I wouldn't know what to do without Mitsuru-san around. But then I found out the Shadow Operatives got these special folks who only get called up in emergencies. I just met up with them a minute ago, and we're about to go look for Mitsuru-san and them. Understood. I'll cooperate as well. I'm sure the others won't say no either. We'll all try searching for Mitsuru-san. Really? Thanks! Labras, there's something else I'd like to ask. Why was Mitsuru-san headed for Inaba? If I remember right, they found a weird shadow reading over there, so they were gonna go look into it. A weird shadow reading? She said the reading spiked all of a sudden. Did something happen over there? Hmm, nothing springs to mind. Oh, sorry, hold on a moment. I'm sorry, but let's continue this on the move. We should meet up at the very least. Actually, is that a helicopter I hear in the background? Yeah, I'm surprised you can tell. We have a maid piloting one right now! Hmm... Let me think of a place where a helicopter could land around here. A blackout. Labrys? Red fog? Today. I wonder if I can make the last train. Night, everyone! I'm off for today! <sighs> Made it! It's gotten a lot later than we expected. Are you still okay on time? You didn't have to give me a lift, you know. I'd have been fine. That's not the issue. Come on, I'm your manager. Still, I had no idea that the boss was putting together such a detailed plan for your comeback. Well, I'm grateful and all, but I just don't think I'm ready yet. That's not true. We've all seen how hard you've been working. You're much stronger than you were. I think the boss is making the right decision. Are you just flattering me, Inoue-san? Never intentionally. 
You sang that new song we gave you today after just a short lesson. You even memorized the dance steps in record time. I wasn't any good, though. I got distracted by the steps and kept going off key. And I wasn't hitting the turns cleanly. I've still got a long way to go. Risei Chan, did something happen? Huh? I know that there's a part of your life you won't let me into, and that's okay. An idol doesn't need to tell her manager everything. But there's a difference between keeping things private and isolating yourself. Mm. You asked if you could get some days off during the long holiday, right? And you didn't seem too keen on today's session either. Did you have some other engagement in mind? No, you're just cutting me too much slack. Thanks, though. It's nothing to do with work, but there was something that made me realize how powerless I am. Say, chan I'm okay. Were you worried I'd quit again? I'm still set on getting back into showbiz, once I shake off the rest from my hiatus. <laughs> I can tell that much from watching you practice. Still, maybe you need a breather. Huh? The publisher consulted me about maybe rescheduling the photo shoot. When I told them doing it later would be problematic since you're still a student, they decided to reschedule for another time. So, take a nice break tomorrow. No, my son. But things will be busy after the long holiday. The success of your comeback project is on the line here. I really appreciate it. Can you let me off at Okina Station today? If I have tomorrow off, I want to stop by the studio and practice a little more. Huh? But wouldn't it be late by the time you're done? Why don't I take you straight home? There's not enough room at home. Please? I'll go straight home after I practice a little. Well, all right. But don't push yourself too hard, okay? I won't. Actually, though, you shouldn't coddle me so much either. Okay, you know what, son? A long holiday, huh? Reminds me, Naoto kun had to work during the holidays too. Hmm? Oh, it's from Yukiko Senpai. Junis at 6 a.m.? That's early. I bet some of those guys are gonna be late for sure. I can barely face Senpai and the others. The next stop is Yasuo Inaba. Yasuo Inaba. Inaba's that way. No way. What's going on? All oh, right, my cell. It's broken? Of all the times. Guys, you senpai. It can't be. It's like I'm inside the TV. 